about a month ago, I made a video about the 10th anniversary of the London bombings, in which 52, I think, people were killed by three bombs in London. I was going to make some follow-up videos to that, but I just didn't have the time. But it occurs to me that today is another anniversary, a 70th anniversary, of another bombing. Now, but this bombing, this bombing was worse than the London bombing. After the London bombing, I walked around London and if you hadn't read the papers, for the most part, you wouldn't know that the bombings had occurred. Well, 70 years ago, this bombing was about one and a half thousand times worse, if you can imagine that. 74,000 people killed. Now, unlike the London bombings, the guys that did this bombing didn't die with their bombs. They made sure they stayed a safe distance away. And when they got home, they weren't called terrorists. I think they were called heroes. Which goes to show that if you're going to do it, go big and then go home. Because if it's sufficiently large, if it's a big enough attack, if it's a huge enough atrocity, then perhaps people won't dare call you a terrorist. And besides, if it's a big enough atrocity, you might win. And everybody loves a winner.